you. I came before you before, asking you if you would like to bear wrestle to select your leaders. This is far superior to what you've already implemented. But no, now I come to you asking you for your help in the great bear war. We stand united against the ba rogue bear army. They come to our lands. They rape and pillage. I ask you, let me lead you. Let me lead you into battle so that we may return wearing the pelts of our enemies. Before you ask any questions, I didn't realize I was actually applying until about 2.45 today. I got two thirds of the way through my app and was like, oh, I think I might be serious. So I greatly encourage you, go read my app. I actually like inadvertently worked in serious things in there, but it's mostly about bears. Bears are awesome, go for it. Um, I know there are gonna be a couple of questions, but I do have a couple things I would like to clarify with my app first. Uh, first of all, my mission text, I posted a, look at him, he's been struck down by the rogue bears already. He probably got into a skirmish on the way here. Do you not see, do you not see the intensity of this problem? Uh, I just see a really ugly rug. <laughs> What's up? How will you fuck up the bear war effort? <laughs> Supplies. Not enough bacon. We, we've kind of been eating a, t a few too many pigs. Oh, okay. Um, Maybe. Scientific funding for banking research. It's a well-known fact that Abraham Lincoln rode into the war, in the Civil Indeed, War, on a bear with a machine gun. Why are bears the enemy? Bears are not all the enemy. We fight for the great bear spirit in the bear court. They are the ones that protect the lands. They are the ones that we, that we are allies with. Now, the rogue bears, they are led by the red panda. She is, she is the epitome of cowardice. She always runs to fight another day, and we will not let her. The red panda is closely related to the raccoon instead of an actual bear. Indeed. You see the problem here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, so, so, Robert, next. Are you a sexual oh, yeah. or a casual guy? Just a casual guy. <laughs> <laughs> This isn't my whole life. As a representative of the bison nation, I have a serious <laughs> issue with your attack on other furry and large creatures. Yes. I, I will not stand for this. I knew you would be here. Help us in our war. Help us, help us and unite with us. What do we get? We'll stop attacking you. Bacon. We're bison. We don't <laughs> care. <laughs> be careful what you wish for. It takes guns. <laughs> it's okay. Bears. Abraham Lincoln with a gun. He didn't just fight the Civil War, he hunted. We have Teddy Roosevelt. Yeah. Ooh, you win. They were friends. <laughs> Teddy Roosevelt also rode a bear. And a moose. That's it. Nate? Who leads the bear army and what can be done to stop, to stop them? Our bear army is led by the great bear spirit. She is the one you want to appease. The, uh, you heard me- How do you know it's a she? I am her emissary. The, I haven't finished with this question yet, easy. The, uh, the red panda, as I said before, talking to Kyle, she is our enemy. She always runs to fight another day. She takes the outcasts in and turns them against us. We do not mean to outcast them. It's not our fault they want to be vegetarians. What, what's wrong with being a vegetarian? Well, is the red panda from communist China? <laughs> See what I did there? Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Dustin? Where do koalas fit in on this? Are they like spies, adorable fakes? What do they do here? Do they explode? What do they do? Yeah. Drop bears. They don't have like qualifications. This is irrelevant. <laughs> you guys have they laughing. often haven't had the qualifications <laughs> to be in our army, but they we are we are in dire need now. Indeed. Like, stop saying that. <laughs> Or you don't know, set up Robert. qualifications. <laughs> We're not qualified. Many people are polarized about this entire issue. <laughs> and that there's a lot of pandemonium about. And all I'm asking is, are we going to use guns against them, or are we just going to fight them with our bare hands? <laughs> Actually, as, as a meta, I have thought of a game idea involving humans with hand tags. Playing off of Capture the Flag hand tags and being able to parry and bear arms. You will gain the right to bear arms. I've decided I'm going to play this game barefooted. Can we use hawk hands? Oh. Yes. 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 <laughs> As a person who was raised with them, what are you? Um, how will you protect the reptiles? The reptiles. Lizards. 
Rats. We try not to trample them. They come cuddle next to us in the co in the cold months when we hibernate. Actually, I have a serious question. How does the bear cavalry get around? Do they actually ride unicycles, or <laughs> <laughs> everyone is a bear on a unicycle? This is a serious question. Pretty serious. Tandem bicycles, actually. You see, if if one bear goes down, they're they don't cause nearly as much of a problem because their body does not fall in front of the, those of the others. In fact, if the fir first bear gets taken down, the second bear takes up his arms and keeps on pedaling. So they tear off the arms. Indeed, and use them as flails. It's very effective. It is very surprisingly Does effective. Does that count as an extension of the body? Whoops. AK yes. noodles. That sounds barely practical. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite practical. Oh, uh, God, I can't hear your puns. Will there be bear marines? Uh, by that I mean armored bears. Meta, there may be a mission involving freeing Winnie the Pooh from Walt's vault, and he will be a militant Winnie the Pooh. Oh. Will the bear attack will come into play? <laughs> <laughs> if you can rig something up to fly, yes. Yeah, okay. Drop socks, whatever. Sarah? Can we use giant turtles as a source of transportation? If you want, they're kind of slow. I suggest the tandem bikes or nitrous oxide. Nate. Bear claws, the delicious stone on a tree, legit weapon. And yes. Follow up question. Uh, as far as props go, are you planning on having extensive props, or do you want this to be a bare bones sort of game? Well, you can see I went rather bare bones on it. With a little more prep time, we could probably uh, cover our bare asses. But you know, say again. Actually, bare bones. Fur bones. Fur but it's a bare minimum. Yeah, Indeed. He said. Oh no, there's a there's a great bear that will be reached. So, Robert. Is that what you mean, Although we heard it in the form of twigs and berries. And shells. <laughs> we'll steer and cool. Oh, go ahead. You, you, you. Okay. Um, well, as far as if there's any like bare hand fighting, can I use the Wreck-It Ralph giant gloves? As long as they're padded enough, yes. Okay. If if someone wants to come come out with literal bare arms, I have seen like gloves that have claws. Yeah. Do you plan, I mean, because he talks a bunch about this on his show, do you plan on having Stephen Colbert a part of this? <laughs> Read my app. Yes, I do. Nate? Those bears from the Charmin toilet paper commercial. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Friends <laughs> or enemies. <laughs> <laughs> they, they represent the working class of Beartopia. I see. They, they don't exactly go to war very often. We're, they're, they're the ones we often protect. They always seem pretty happy when they're wiping their ass on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> they really do. They, they, they really get a kick out of that. Not a sexual kick, don't worry, but... I was going to say it, but I was How do they feel about Goldilocks? About Goldilocks? Oh! -ho. The Berenstein Bears were definitely our enemy, right? <sighs> they teach you know those people. families that, like, one side puts up the, uh... The, the Mitt Romney in the yard, and then the other side puts up a bigger sign that says Obama, and then that just goes back and forth. That's what they've been doing for like most of this war now. So we're just kind of waiting for the for the rogue army to reach their lands, and then they're going to be like, oh, we should probably like do something about that. I, I'm sure the panda won't the, the red panda won't buy them out. They're not that greedy. It's her first. What about bipolar bears? Bipolar bears, Ooh. love them, love them to death. Great fighters, just kind of tend to wander off sometimes. Sometimes they're interested in fighting, and sometimes they're just not. You just want to yeah. go out of there. What about Little Bear? Little Bear. Yeah. Oh, yes. Little Bear. Little Bear. Dig deep, deep into your jar and into your shell. Nick Jr., Little Bear. What kind of bear spirit do you listen to? Yeah. You don't even know. <laughs> little Bear. <laughs> The Outlands. They may live in the Outlands. So we don't. We don't go there very often. That's that's the land of anarchy. Big bushy bear. What about Kung Fu Panda? Ally, of course. That's where they go to train our warriors. Since we're talking about polar bears, where do penguins factor into this? You know, <laughs> rations. What, have you recruited anyone from Pandaria? <laughs> We're working on it. That's not my jurisdiction. Kyle? No, uh, never mind. Will Bear Grylls be, pre will be presents? Drinking your own piss, legitimate ration. <laughs> Robert, did I see your hands? Pandemonium. Is this over Bear? I understand that this whole war is a grisly situation and all. I just want to know, what are we doing to protect the dogs? To protect the what? The dogs. The dogs. Hey, 
the audio works. Turn <laughs> off the audio. What? That was horrifying. <laughs> that was horrifying. Gummy bears. I apologize. Oh, Gummy bears. It's very, it's hard on the sound. That's what I did. Gummy bears. Our rations. Oh, wow. I guess that's the thing. Go for it. Can I stun a zombie with a Care Bear stare? Yes. <laughs> if they accept the stun. 